Wow. Is this surprising? Nintendo is being Nintendo again. If you guys don't know, when people say Nintendo is being Nintendo, it means they're usually doing something that is fairly stubborn and maybe even works against the company. And that is something we found out recently occurred with a rather popular game, especially among the youth in Fortnite. Because Stefan Totillo, former editor-in-chief of Kotaku, who now runs his own website called GameFile, uh, put together an interview. I'm, I'm looking at it right now with Fortnite's longtime league creator, Donald Mustard, who talks about this rumor we had ages ago that Samus was being considered, you know, Metroid, the whole franchise was being considered to be put into Fortnite as a crossover. But we were never really explained why that didn't happen. We were left to guess. And we had some guesses based on how the crossovers worked with Minecraft and how they worked with, uh, what is it, Rocket League, where they had those Mario crossovers, but they were only on Switch, couldn't be on other platforms. Platforms. We figured maybe that was a stumbling point, but now we know for a fact that was the case, at least based on what Donald Mustard League Creative had to say. There's no reason for him to really lie about this, and Nintendo hasn't commented. But hey, we're going to go look at this right now. Here's the article where it says exclusive Fortnite's longtime league creator Donald Mustard speaks out on his epic run and what's next. And we're going to go down here because he no longer works there, but he brought something up way down in this article. You'll see a little headline about it where it says Batman, Keanu, but no Samus. But it's actually a bit further down here where he had these ideas, and it, it, it kind of comes in right here. I wanted three things, Mustard says, of these iconic console characters. He got two. While Epic has never flat out said it, a presentation deck that emerged during Epic's lawsuit against Apple, again, this is when we found out about the Metroid stuff, made it clear. They wanted Halo's Master Chief from Xbox, God of War's Kratos from PlayStation, and Metroid's Samus Aran from Nintendo. Chief and Kratos made it in, and it helped that Mustard is friends with a lot of the game developers, including one of the God of War main architects, Corey Barlog. However, there was no Samus. Nintendo declined. Here's what he had to say on why. They got really hung up on their characters showing up on platforms that weren't their platforms, Mustard says. Fortnite ran on all consoles. It does run currently on all consoles and PC and even mobile at the time, meaning all the crossover characters would show up on those devices. They would be thrilled to have Nintendo characters in Fortnite, but just only if it's on their platform. Epic would not be okay with platform-specific characters. For me and for all of Epic, we're like, this is an absolute must. We want to make sure that Fortnite is the same experience no matter what screen or device you're playing on. And so here's what I find fascinating about all this is, one, uh, Nintendo indicated to them that they want their characters in Fortnite. So Nintendo isn't even opposed to their characters, skins, costumes being in Fortnite. They don't have a problem with that. And it's not surprising. There is literally a custom version of Fortnite for Switch in terms of a console. They made a literal themed console for Epic Games with Fortnite, a free-to-play game. So look, Nintendo doesn't have a problem with Fortnite in general. They also don't have a problem with doing crossovers with Fortnite. They have a problem with those crossovers appearing on any system that isn't Nintendo. And that, to me, is Nintendo being Nintendo. There is nothing bad to get out of this for them other than right now where this story breaks and it makes them look stingy. It makes them look like they misunderstand what marketing is. Because here's the thing, and I know Nintendo's a very brilliant company and they have way smarter people than me making these sort of decisions. I can't see how having a playable Samus costume, a Metroid suit costume, right? You know, where you're shooting the balls and everything or rolling up as a ball. I don't see how any of that would have been a negative if it appeared on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or mobile. Keep in mind, Nintendo already has their IPs on mobile, right? You, you got Pikmin Bloom, you got Pokemon Go. Obviously, there's been a lot of Pokemon games besides that. Magikarp Jump is an example. Uh, Unite, et cetera, et cetera. There's lots of Pokemon games on mobile. They obviously have Super Mario Run. Uh, you can't forget Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. They have Fire Emblem Heroes. Look, Nintendo's been putting their IPs on mobile, so it can't be that they're necessarily afraid of their IPs appearing in the mobile versions of Fortnite. This probably specifically has to do with appearing on competitions systems. They have a problem if a PlayStation 5 user can buy a Samus skin to play it on their PlayStation 5. And the only reason I can think Nintendo may have a problem with this is either one from a competitive standpoint, they want Nintendo exclusive content to make the Nintendo version of Fortnite more appealing, or two, 
they're afraid that people will see the Metroid costume or any Nintendo costume on other platforms. It will look significantly better on those platforms than it does on Switch, ergo making the Switch not look as good. I think, though, those are concerns that really should be set aside. Everyone already knows all video games look worse on Switch. Even Nintendo's own games, you can emulate them uh, quite easily, in fact, and get better-looking versions of Nintendo's own games. So I, I don't think that this is a reasonable excuse. I feel like this is more of old-timey Nintendo that wants to control everything, and I know these are their IPs. They are factually their IPs, so they should have all the control they want, and they do. That's why this hasn't happened. I just feel like this is Nintendo being too stubborn. I think you need to get with the times a little bit here. You see, Nintendo, this was a golden opportunity to take a franchise that could use cross-marketing and cross-market it. You could have got PlayStation, Xbox, and PC users who have never touched a Metroid game in their life, but maybe have played other Metroidvania games. Castlevania, as an example. Hello, look at the demand for Hollow Knight Silk Song. These style of games are popular it's just Metroid, isn't it? Metroid's one of the foundations of the entire genre. Getting that franchise in front of other people who maybe don't play it actually could have drawn interest to your platform. When you reveal Metroid Prime 4, PlayStation 5 owners would recognize who Samus is as, hey, isn't that that one costume that I played in Fortnite? And then they could go over and possibly buy a Switch and play Metroid Prime 4 or Metroid Dread. I, I think that this is just a really big missed opportunity and shows Nintendo fundamentally not understanding what it really means to allow your IPs to expand naturally without necessarily taking content away from your Nintendo platforms. No one's, well, I shouldn't say no one, but in this case, people weren't demanding you take Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime 4 and put it on PlayStation 5. We're talking about an optional skin in a video game that would be there for a season and then wouldn't be there after that season. I, I honestly think that you're missing the boat here because, again, Minecraft, Roblox, Fortnite, these games are all really popular with the youth, and that's an audience Nintendo wants to capture again, right? Nintendo's own stats say that 85% of all Switch users are over the age of 18. This is Nintendo's own numbers they keep putting out every year. Majority are over the age of 18, and that's probably why they sold so many damn games. Their first system to ever sell over a billion games. Why? Because it's mostly adults that own the platform. Adults have money to get things. But you also want to bring the youth into your product, and the youth are busy playing on tablets and PC and phones, and let them experience your products through another company's game that might then encourage them to go purchase your products to play the full experience. I just think this is a missed opportunity, and Nintendo, I, I understand this decision's already made and it's in the past, and you're probably not even thinking about it anymore, but I hope you think about this more in the future. As you do more crossovers with things like Lego, you do crossovers with Minecraft probably again in the future, crossovers with Rocket League and Fall Guys or whatever game you decide to do crossovers with, be more considerate that you're throwing away marketing opportunities, especially for Metroid. I think that's maybe what frustrates me the most is that this is Metroid. This isn't a 10 million plus seller for Nintendo. This is one of their, unfortunately, more niche games that sells at the same level of Kirby, but doesn't get the same recognition as Kirby does. This franchise could have used this marketing push. So Nintendo, I really hope that you take the walls down a little bit. I mean, look at what Lego has done. Lego took the walls down with Fortnite. Now there's this entire Lego version inside Fortnite that absolutely does not hurt the sales of Lego games and absolutely does not hurt the sale of Lego. So they're actually able to benefit from this in a mutual agreement. Hell, what if you let them create a whole Nintendo Universe version of Fortnite within Fortnite? Not only would that make Fortnite extremely popular on Nintendo systems, uh, and it would also bring Nintendo's IP to other platforms to let them get a taste, just a taste of what they could get with a full experience over on Nintendo. I just think that this is a massively missed opportunity. And again, the whole Nintendo world thing, that's just a pipe dream for me uh, based on what they did with Lego. But I just really, really, really want Nintendo to be more considerate of these opportunities in the future. I think this was a missed one. And this was years ago at this point, but it feels like a missed opportunity. And I hope if the opportunity ever comes around again, even with even if it's with a bigger franchise like Zelda or Mario, that you be considerate of not just gamers off of your platform, but considerate that this could bring more gamers to your platform. You talk, Nintendo's own words, about why you're putting out mobile games so you can drive more customers from mobile to Switch. Well, imagine what you could do with skins inside a third-party game on competitors' platforms and driving sales of those fans over to your 
platform. I'm just saying, and you would make money off the sale of the skins anyway. Oh, and on top, by the way, you have Super Smash Bros, where you have a bunch of third-party characters, and some of those characters where a vast majority of their games aren't even on Nintendo platforms, and you're helping increase the sales of those games on competitors' platforms, so why not just allow them to help increase your own sales with your own properties by having some of these little crossovers? Again, this isn't... Uh, Soul Calibur 2 GameCube days where every version had its own exclusive thing. And that was, dude, we're in the modern age. Let people enjoy these skins and help your business. It's a win-win. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next video.